Nothing's worse than cops who think they're above the law, right? Today we're looking at cases where officers messed up with the wrong citizens and things ended up badly for them. Let's go to the video. A group of cops spotted a man in a neighborhood where a robbery attempt had just been reported. They didn't have any solid evidence linking him to the crime, only a description from a homeowner who said someone tried to break into his house. The homeowner explained that the would-be robber tried to open the door, found it locked, and then attempted to force it open. Based on this, cops tried to approach a man who was just out for an evening walk in the area. Approaching someone just because they happen to be near a crime scene doesn't mean they're involved, but it seemed like the cops already had their minds made up. They stopped this guy and decided to detain him and search him right there, even though they didn't have a warrant or any real reason to suspect him specifically. When the man didn't want to be searched without a warrant, one of the female cops asked him why he was being difficult and not cooperating. Well, maybe it was because he was just out enjoying his walk and minding his own business when the cops showed up and wanted to search him without any proper justification. The cops should have realized they were overstepping their bounds. This man didn't know them any explanation or cooperation, especially since he was just out walking, not causing any trouble. Yeah, not too bad, Jay. Uh, no, I was alright, I'm walking. No, no, no. Come here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, What for? What's your name? Why'd I have to do that? Because we've just had an attempted burglar in the area. Oh, that's yeah. Why. Yeah, literally around the corner. Oh, right, that's, yeah, this is an excuse you come up with every time. Do well, you, no, it's. Do you, do you want me to show you the instant? A taxi. Oh, yeah. Do you want to see? Do you want me to show you the instant? State someone has just knocked on his door and then tried to open it. Right. Not me. We've okay. literally just attended However, it. However... Oh, you saw me all the way down to the bottom there. I, I watched you fly around the corner. Yeah, I have. Exactly. Yeah. But and I've just You're the only on one in the area, aren't you? Have you got anything on you? Oh. Well, obviously not, have I? Okay. Well, then that's fine, isn't it? Well, well, I need yeah. to make that inquiry, don't I? Yeah. I do, don't I? Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing my job. Yeah. Okay. Are you willing to give your name? No, I'm okay. All right. Will you allow me to search her? Because I will search her. Uh, unless there's a section 60. If there's a it's section not a section 60. 60. I can search under section 1 of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act. Uh, yeah, but what criminal and evidence? Uh, I'm hooked. Mate, All that, the way that from down a, there. I saw the you come from town. Listen, listen. What's the, the issue if criminal... you got nothing on you? There's What's the issue? issue? Because I've got rights. Yeah. I've got yeah, rights to walk rights. down the street. Do you want to know what that, that says with, in section 1? Uh, with a, do I don't even have to stop and let you. Yes, I don't you even do have to stop I'm, and talk to I you. I don't even have to stop and talk okay. to you. So well, they give you that. I'm going to search you under section one of pace. What well, that means is I'm not. looking for things to try and break into a house. Oh, so you're look, you're, you're suspecting me of? Well, no, I'm suspecting you of potentially carrying something to get into a house. I have just walked all the way from down well, there. You then. saw me so at the what's bottom. The problem, then? I walked around my block. What's I've come all the way back up. I don't even have to touch you. Just show me your pockets and then we'll let you go. Okay. Just take it out for me. And then I'll let you get on. Well, I'll, no. I'll let you get no. on. Actually, take, take it look, out. nothing, nothing there, keys. No, take it out, mate. Lighters. Just take okay. it out, otherwise I'm going to search it. Yeah, but look. Right, okay. Look what you're doing no, to me. An out, innocent then. member of the public. No, just get what? out of my pocket. No, get I'm out of my pocket. One of pace, nothing, get out of my pocket. Get out of my pocket. However, the cops were too caught up in the moment to back down. One of them started to reach into the man's pockets, which really upset him. Normally, cops should keep a safe distance to make sure people don't feel threatened, especially when they're armed. But instead of easing the situation, the cops thought his upset reaction meant he must be hiding something. Meanwhile, another cop noticed the man was recording the whole encounter on his phone. Seeing this, he decided to play it up for the camera, claiming that they had to search him to make sure he wasn't the burglar. He said it was their duty, even though they were at a house that had nearly been robbed and they had no actual proof that this guy was involved. This attempt to justify their actions felt strained, especially since there was no evidence to suggest that the man had done anything wrong. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and now he was getting frisked by cops who were determined to pin something on him. Get out of my pockets. I'm, I've Get told out. you. Look what you're doing to me. This is like... Look how disgusting this is, what you're doing okay. to me right now. I'm an innocent member of the public. Well, that's fine, but you're in an area where there's just been an attempt at oh, burglary. Yeah, eh? right. So I have suspicion that you may oh, have suspicion. tried that. Just from walking down the street? Yes, 100%. Yes. Uh, what are you doing that going is, all through my jacket? That is what, called, is what is called... Get off, but this happens to me every other okay. day. Well, then, every time I come outside my house, this, and you come up with some excuse. Will you let go I'm, of my arm? No, I've, 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 I've literally just told you the reason. Look what you're doing to me. I'm just going to look at your bag and then you can go. Look, I'm an innocent member of the public. That's fine then. And what you keep doing to me every right. bloody day. Right. I've got 
listen, listen, and I'll explain no, it. No, I suffer with okay. Asperger's syndrome, okay. and what you're All doing right. to me is disgusting. Okay. Okay. It happens every listen. other day. Listen, mate. Look, this one getting... Oh. No, no, listen, listen. It listen. is horrible. I will explain it. I've got bad anxiety as it is, okay. and this I appreciate happening that. to me However, every time. What's your name? Well, my I'm giving Joe. you my what's name. What's your name? I ain't giving you okay. my name. I know you want to get my name. No, no, because... Because you want to stalk me all the time. Like, you, you I literally happened two listen, days ago. Mate, if you don't want me, a week if you don't want that, to give me your name, you don't have to. It happened a week before okay. that, happened a week before that, happened a week before that. I've explained why and I'm it, It's just absolutely it, disgusting. Are you going to listen? Just listen? No, I'm not listening because I don't have to. I don't have to talk to you. Well, basically, you just asked why I'm now, now, you've just... Gone all through my personal possessions yes, I have, because I've had suspicion. for no well suspicion. Yeah. What walking up the street? Suspicion. Walking You're up the right street, near a street being an attempted just... burglar. And? Okay. Well, if you can't see why that's suspicion, you obviously can't understand what we're doing here. Well, it could happen anywhere. There's about yes, a, it could. a thousand could. burglaries, burglaries all over yeah. Chelmsford. Yeah. But why do you have to stop me you without think I've just stopped evidence? You the cops kept asking the man for his name and where he lived, but he wasn't willing to tell them. All he wanted was to make them see the error of their ways and avoid making the same mistakes in the future. But during the conversation, the female cop actually admitted on camera that they would have done the same to anyone else they had found on the street that night. This admission just showed how clueless they were about conducting a proper investigation. Just having a badge doesn't give them the right to make up rules as they go. Moreover, they didn't even have a specific description of the suspect who tried to break into the house. It doesn't make any sense to just stop and search every person they see, right? It seemed like the cops didn't understand how quickly things could end badly if they continued down this path. Yes, you have, yeah. Okay. Well, if, you you have that, if there was the anybody street, else on the street, we'd be doing exactly oh, yeah, the same. Right. You have that opinion. Yeah, so an old you, lady was walking what, up with a Zimmer frame. You'd go, well, right, let me search well, for no, your bags. Well, oh, well, no, that. well, that's discrimination. No, so you, yeah, yes, it is. You cannot do discriminate. You, do you understand what suspicion means? Well, yeah. What is suspicion? Well, you just said if an old lady was walking, she could be yeah, suspicious. I'm, no, I didn't say that at all. Well, no, I mean, I'm just saying I mean, she it's could be. recording me, so I definitely didn't say no, that. No, she could be, though. Well, How do you could, not know that? But it's based on but my But you just said that you wouldn't search her. No, I wouldn't search her. Well, why not? Well, first of she's all... She's in the area. First of all, she hasn't got something covering her face. And well, I appreciate it's a it's mask, because it's COVID. Yeah, I completely appreciate that. But people wear masks to do burglaries with oh, a hood yeah. up, with a bag, dressed in tracksuits. That is my suspicion. <laughs> oh, so, so if you don't want to have an argument, again, I'm 100% fine to so stand here. That's another near discrimination. And argue with you all night about oh, what it suspicion is. All the time. However, you can now go and crack on your Well, I should have been out to go in the first place. Well, go then, mate. Because I had the Cause right to walk search, freely it? without being harassed. Well, not you when go. you're detained for uh, a search, you don't. <laughs> yes, well, no, you, you should have detained me in the first place and then you've got probable cause. Oh, mate, I can't do this. Unless you've got probable cause. We've explained it to you and you can go now. That's fine. Have a good evening. Well, no, you can go. I will go. Well, go on then. Well, no, go. because there's been an attempted burglary in the area, so all I'm right going to stay in the area. Well, I'm staying with you. Okay, that's all right. I mean, I'm going to drive around, so I mean, if you go down anywhere where I think there's been that attempted burglary, I'll oh, search you again. You'll search, search you again. You'll search me again, will yes, you? Yes, I'll bloody well. Did you just swear? An innocent member of the public? If you, if you count that as well. How disgusting. Disgusting behaviour. A man was taking a break at a gas station with his dog when a female cop approached him. She handed him a paper to sign, accusing him of animal mistreatment because, according to her, the dog should be transported in a much larger cage than what's practical for a car. She mentioned a rule about needing a cage that's at least 100 square feet, but that's just not realistic for any vehicle. It was clear the man had been driving for a long while and stopped for a rest so he wouldn't be a hazard on the road by driving tired. He was responsible, not just for himself, but for other drivers too. Yet this cop seemed to have an issue with him taking a break at a gas station for nearly an hour. It's odd because no law says there's a limit to how long you can rest during a long drive. Honestly, who does she think she is? Trying to decide how long someone's break should be. After all, you don't have to be a law expert to understand that such a law does not exist. And when the man challenged her by asking about the law he was supposedly breaking, the cop didn't have a clear answer. Instead, she brushed it off, saying that figuring out the laws wasn't her job and that it should be left to a judge to decide. It seemed like she wasn't too sure about the rules herself, but didn't want to admit it. You're getting two citations of 401 for the dogs being in the crates without water. Um, the crates can be used to transport the animals, but for them to sit inside the crate, it, they can't do that. So the dogs have been in the crate for over an hour, which is a violation. Um, if they're gonna sit, is it a, is they a have to be I in a, a hold on, they have to be in a crate, a cage that's 100 square feet. 
So this is, you can use the transport, but other than that, they can't sit in this truck in these crates. So it's, it's against um, the law in the city of Indianapolis yep. to have a dog in a dog crate? Sitting in a vehicle. If you're transporting them, yes, but you're sitting in a parking lot for over an hour, so you're not technically transporting them. So they have to be in a cage that's 100 square feet per dog. 100 square feet per dog, per for, dog. for a cage if they're sitting. Yes, because so they're you, sitting. So if you transport a dog in the state of Indianapolis, if I stop at a gas station going for a pack of cigarettes. And keep going, and but your stopped. vehicle has been sitting here for over an hour. So you're considered a parked vehicle. Can you tell me what the statute is for how long a time the vehicle has to remain seated before it you becomes would, a violation? I do not. We don't have that. Does, it's the, based does, off the, of, does the ordinance actually say that? I mean, does, is it just something you don't know offhand or is it something that the ordinance says once a vehicle stops for a longer I don't even than 15 think minute duration? I don't even think it's in duration? our ordinance. I'm not sure that would be a judge question. So, um, so it's not a time limit by the ordinance. It's, is it then like an officer discretion thing that the dog can't be in a crate and come to a stop? Well, I mean, it's the, the cop kept insisting that a 15 minute break would have been acceptable. But then it makes you wonder, how did she even know how long the man was at the gas station? It's kind of odd to think she might have been watching the whole time, keeping track of his break. Really, don't cops have more important things to do? The man was genuinely curious about how long he could pause during a trip without it being considered animal abuse. But instead of helping, the cop didn't offer any clear answers. She even told him to just look it up on the internet if it was really bothering him so much. It's puzzling to think about what her role as a public servant really is if she can't provide basic information to people who need it. And think about the level of confidence you'd have to have to decide to ticket someone just because they were there to stop or grab dinner and rest up before hitting the road again. It seems pretty over the top. If you were in this man's shoes, how would you handle it? How would you react to being treated like that during a simple break in your journey? Well, I mean, it's the if you were here 15 minutes and left, we it would be fine but the, but the ordinance doesn't say that those but you've saying. been sitting here for over an hour which makes it a but stationary if, object which means they've been sitting in here in a confined space so how am i supposed to know what the ordinance says if the ordinance itself doesn't actually detail what the violation would be time-wise i mean if i wanted to be a perfectly go to the ordinance website and read the ordinance you just wrote me the ordinance you you can't tell so, me that and you do this for a living it's because i just explained to you it's because the vehicle has been sitting here for an hour and which is so, considered stationary so that's what the ordinance says is that the vehicle remains stopped no. for an hour so what does the actual ordinance say i'm citing you for 401 i'm not citing you for the dog in the vehicle i'm what's citing a, a you for 401? 401 is care and treatment violation which okay. it is the dog sitting in the in these crates that are not a hundred square feet so a 10 without by 10. water so 10 by 10. If and I, they've been in for over an hour. So if I haul a dog in the city of Indianapolis, I have to have them in a crate that's 10 foot by 10 foot? 100 square foot? If you're transporting them. Right, which I am. You're transporting them in this, but you're not currently transporting. You're not driving. I was you're sitting. Them. I left from training. I came here to pick up dinner and was going to go. My, I told you my food was ordered to go. But I've been out here you're with stationed you for half an out, hour. They've been stationed out here for an hour. So that's considered sitting. You're not transporting them. But a minute um, ago, you said if I stop for cigarettes at a gas station, that that's not a violation. Because you're keep going. Are you going to sit at a gas station for over an hour for, to buy a pack of cigarettes? When a cop pulled a man over, he acted like he didn't know the man any explanation for stopping him. He even told him that he didn't want to play games, as if the man was being difficult. But really, it's the cop's job to explain what's going on. It's part of being a public servant. However, this cop seemed more interested in showing off his authority than in doing his job properly. So he decided to detain the man, probably just to flex his power. If you're feeling confused about what went down, you're not alone. The man was even more in the dark. To make things worse, the cop wasn't doing anything but waiting around for his colleagues to show up. Probably realized he had bitten off more than he could chew with this guy and needed a little bit of backup. All the while, the man was trying to figure out why he was pulled over in the first place. But when he asked, the cop claimed he had already told him, which wasn't true. When the other unit gets here, we'll chit chat as much as you want. No, it's not going to be like that. I want to know. I can, I can be on my way. You're not what we do. I can be on my way. I'm done talking to you're you. A you're a public servant. You're I'm a public servant. I you. pay taxes for I you to have this job. No, you did not tell me what's going on. Why was I pulled over? I'm not going to play games with the interview on the camera phone. No, this isn't Just playing games. This isn't playing there. games. I would like to be on my way. Here's the, here's the situation. You're being detained right now. If you try to flee, you'll be charged with resisting arrest. Okay? You're not under arrest, but you're being detained lawfully. So, you can cooperate and stand here until the other officer gets here, and then we'll have things on their way. 
if you're not in possession of anything legal, you'll be on your way. However, that's the situation, okay? When you're free to leave, I'll tell you you're free to leave. I do not submit to any search and seizures. I'd like that to be known Duly right noted. now. Duly noted. I understand your... Um, My right. Your, yeah, I understand your right, and I understand your position. And bottom line, you're not free to leave right now, okay? I am doing... Um, my job, and you're going to wait here until the other officer gets here. When the other officer gets here, we're going to do our job, and then you'll be free to go, given that there's no other issues. Is that clear? I mean, I would like to know what I got pulled over for first. I already told you that. No, you, you never told me that. Games. No, yes, you never, never said. You games never games told me. Time. You said it's a minor infraction, but never told me the infraction itself. I told you right there. What? When I was in the passenger window. What is it? I'm not doing this. I'm telling you, I'm not doing this. I don't know what you think you're not doing right now, but it's not telling me my rights and telling me what I've done wrong. We've been over this until you turned your phone on. Now, Imagine that. Things, okay? What, you I'm can't... Not, I'm not going to go over it again just because you're recording it now. It shouldn't be a big deal. It shouldn't be a big deal to tell me what I did wrong. It's not a big deal. Okay? You're just going to wait here until, like I said, the other officer gets through. What the cop said next was pretty shocking. He admitted he didn't want to tell the man that he was being pulled over just because he was filming the interaction. It seems like either the cop wanted to say something he shouldn't, or he just realized that by doing this, he was messing with the man's constitutional rights to film. This cop, who took an oath to protect everyone's constitutional rights, seemed to have forgotten about those responsibilities. Instead, he kept saying he didn't want to play games as if the man was causing trouble just by asking for an explanation. It's pretty basic stuff. Part of the cop's job is to explain why they're stopping someone right from the get-go. This cop really needs to remember that he must be upfront and clear about his actions, especially when someone's rights are involved. Do you understand? I can't, I mean, honestly, like, I can't believe this. Like, I haven't done anything wrong. You're welcome to your opinion, I'm just telling you. It's not even like an opinion. Like, that's fact. I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, as I said, I don't care if you search this car. You give a shit less. There's nothing in this car. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know what to, I don't know how, what, what your right is, I don't know why you even pulled me over. I already told you that. No, you said that's a minor infraction, and didn't tell me the actual infraction. I already told you the reason for the stop, we already been through all this, and I'm not going to play games because you're recording it, okay? But I'm not even playing games. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Not in any way, shape, or form. You are playing games. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You're ridiculous. And I'm ridiculous. You're an officer that won't tell me what I did wrong. I already did. You're just recording it. And What's it ma what does that matter? Look, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. We're not going to rehash everything just because you turned your iPhone on. Okay? It's not an iPhone, first of all. And no, it's not, it's not like that at all. I just want... I just want... Go ahead and step to the rear of the car. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Just, I mean, that's the thing is that I've been like looking up videos about this kind of thing. And it's like it's best to have the camera out at all times. I'm telling you, you know, it's not the first time I've been reported. It's I'm sure it's not. At all, our cars have cameras in them. For what? I'm sure it's not. The only thing. I just like, I, all right. So if I turn this off, will you tell me what I did wrong then? I don't care if you leave it on, you turn it off. We'll talk after the other officer gets you, like I said. I want to know what the other officer has to do with any of this. I'd just like you to be known. I would like to be on my way. I've done nothing wrong. At least anything that you can cite. You're being detained. And as soon as uh, we get done checking the car, make sure there's nothing illegal, we'll have you on your way. Speaking of cops messing up, here's a story about a rookie cop who stopped a man for not signaling while driving, which was a valid reason to pull him over. However, the situation quickly went south when the rookie asked for the man's driver's license and insurance, even though the man hadn't actually broken any serious traffic laws or endangered anyone. Standing his ground, the man realized he was dealing with a tough situation and asked the rookie to call a supervisor. But the young cop refused, claiming all his superiors were too busy at the moment. He didn't even attempt to call one, forgetting that it's part of his job policy to do so whenever requested. It's not up to him to decide whether or not to involve a supervisor. The rookie's arrogance really showed when he threatened the man, demanding the documents immediately and warning him that he wouldn't ask twice. Uh, so you were, uh, failed to blinker and failed to, uh, sorry, you didn't, uh, That's true. That is true. I'll okay. You. All right. You got uh, it on video? You stop. No, okay. I don't need to. I All right. it. You failed to stop. Okay. Stop sign. Okay. License, All right. registration, insurance. All right. I'm going to give it to you. Let me open the window. Okay. Go for it. Here goes this. 
And don't touch my car. Okay? I, I, uh, don't touch it. Stop. Okay. Don't touch it. I'm gonna get it for you, but don't touch my car, right? Okay. Thank you. Get a supervisor over here. I don't have one. Not right now. Call somebody. Nope. Okay. They are busy. Okay. All right. You like lacrosse? I do. Good, me too. That's a good game. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. You said license and what? Registration and I mean, proof of insurance. Okay, good, good, good. I got you. One second. You can hand me that license if you like. Mm, I'm, I'm going to hold it and I'm going to give it to you. Look, I'm going to show it to you. Look, let me, okay, let me hide this for a little bit. I have, to, I have to provide to show it to you. Look. You have to give it to me. Sorry. I have to. If I don't give it to you, you're going to arrest me. If I don't get handed to you, okay. can I show it to you? You are obstructing my investigation. Here, give here. it to me. Good. Okay. Good. Registration. Yes, registration. I'm not going to keep asking. Turns out the cop didn't actually pull the man over at all. The man was already parked when the cop walked up to his car and started writing him a traffic ticket for violations. He even tried to arrest the man for traffic endangerment, which isn't even a real crime that you can be arrested for. And in this case, the man couldn't possibly get traffic tickets because he wasn't driving at the time. Seems like this cop thought he'd found an easy target that day and decided to flex his authority. Actions like these are exactly why he should be let go. No one wants cops around who act this way. Well, I saw him like walking over here, so I'm just recording because you know I'm documenting, right? Yeah. And then, and then, hold on. And then the lady over there, she gave me permission to stand on her property, and I recorded from her property. He told me to get back, so I asked the lady if it's okay if I can stand on her property. She said yes. And then, like soon after, the girl she started chasing me, and then like. I'm not gonna lie, like, you know, like, I got a little, you know, like, I was on the defense because I didn't know what was gonna happen. I don't know if she has a weapon or anything, right? So I ran away because I don't want no part of that. And, and I, t I, I kept my distance and he kept threatening to arrest me because I was supposedly impeding or shakti, right? And I'm just backing up. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. I back, when he told me to back up, I backed up. I even asked him, how many feet do you need? Cause I'm backing up. I don't want, I don't want, you know, I don't want, I don't want no issues. I'm just documenting. That's all. Just documenting. And, and, and hold on. I'm not talking to you now. And, 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 um, now he's giving me bogus tickets, just like the other day. Remember when he gave me the bogus tickets? All the, and he didn't even pull me over. He did, he's just mad because I'm recording him. And now he's giving me tickets because I follow, because, because he's following me. How about this? If you don't give me tickets, right? I won't follow you for today. Oh, you read them? Oh, so I'm going to follow you then until the end of your shift. So just to be, you know, he's. And I'm going to keep my distance, ma'am. He has to follow, he has to take care of that situation. He can take care of it, but I want my tickets now. Why did he stop me then if he's on a call? It, was this so important to, to pull me over? He wanted to arrest me, ma'am. Okay. He wanted to arrest me. He threatened me with arrest, and I have it on, on video. I'll be mailing you, uh, Where's. No, no, give it to me now because you pulled me over. All right, that's fine. If you don't have to, then. Hey, I can't, I can't force you, right? But that's very unprofessional. And, and you, you pulled me over. I wasn't. The vehicle was stopped. The vehicle will stop. What if I would have just kept walking away and I would have left my vehicle here? You would have told it, right? Well, I told you you were detained, right? For what reason? For what crime? What crime? Do you suspect me of committing? Traffic infractions. That's not a crime. That's not a crime. And I wasn't driving. So this is invalid. You see this right here, guys? This is invalid. I was not driving. The vehicle was stopped. And he he's giving me traffic citations. You see that? How do you feel, man? You took an oath to the Constitution, right? Honor your oath, bro. Honor your oath, man. Chris, would you like to write a uh, written statement for the incident that happened where she charged you? Are you going to take away the tickets? No. So, uh, my answer is the same as yours. Okay. Okay, cool. Yes, yes.